everyone, Kim here of Unit Life Tarot. Welcome to another Mystery Mystic reading. We are continuing our exploration into what happened to Katia Duenas Aguilar. And we have already done an opening oracle reading, uh, parts one and two. I've linked those in the description box and the pinned comment. So if you haven't checked them out, check it out. And now I have some questions that we're going to pose to the Tarot and the Oracle cards. So let's get into it. I'm going to do this question by question so I can timestamp them. Because I like to timestamp the Tarot readings with their questions. All right. Michelle Frey. First question is, what is the motive taking her life this way okay there's a, a heavy financial implication I suppose um, control with the ten of earth the key word on this ten of pentacles or ten of earth is wealth ten of coins so well, you know, that's interesting. I know I just read an article today um, that indicated that she was married twice. Um, she was married to her father's uh, dad, right? That's her first marriage. And then there's the second marriage. And of course, everything that we're seeing in here is alleged, okay? Um, however, there are, I think, to well she was married twice i don't know if she was divorced or not with the second husband however i find this interesting that this card came up it can be like a sense of control we have eight of water someone was trying to leave this situation someone's trying to leave a situation we have here the ten of earth next to the eight of water traditionally the eight of cups which is about leaving walking away moving on moving to emotional higher ground and when you get the ten of pentacles it can denote a family a marriage um i suppose it could indicate a very you know a successful business that now someone is ready to, you know, walk away from and move on. But it can mean that about a marriage or a relationship. So someone moving on, and that's the catalyst for what has happened. Okay. Um, let's pull from the Secrets Revealed True Crime Oracle. I shuffled them off camera. Spirit, what is the motive for taking her life? in this way yeah I don't know about that but we'll rock with it hmm I think like it's a combination of a motive I'll tell you why why I say that yeah So let me show you what we got. We got murder for hire. So maybe someone has tried to ask someone else to do it. And maybe that didn't happen or it it comes out later that someone was asked to do this and instead the main culprit, the person who is responsible for taking her life this way actually did it himself. I do get a sense of male energy. And the reason why I think there's like two things at work with the motive is a financial element and an emotional element of someone wanting to move on and leave. And there's something at stake. But I mean, she's young. I can't imagine that they had a lot of assets together. I don't know who her her husband is either so or neither one of the husbands i don't know so there's not much details like are they in the military as well um but there's this element 
This also can indicate that this was planned. This was something in the making, like for a while. Like there could be evidence later coming forth that someone at one point or another in recent times before her death was breaking and entering into her home. Could be on the day of, but for some reason, I don't know. I feel like, I think the door card came up. Like, was she inviting this person in? But I, they have been breaking in and getting things, gathering things, violating, violating her space, her finances. I don't know. I'm saying that because we've got some interesting cards here I want to talk about. So we have life insurance or inheritance. So there's that monetary element. Okay. There's some sort of monetary element to it. Or control. Wanting and needing to control something. The outcome of something with the 10. So. Hmm. I suppose it could be a life insurance situation, but I don't I don't know about that. What stands out to me is like inheritance, which is like money as a result of someone passing. We have greed. Someone's greedy. Like I said, control, wanting to control something with related to her, money related. Hmm. Assets related, money, earnings, job, you know, stature in, you know, that could affect long-term wealth. Okay. Poison. Well, we do know, and I wonder if this card or something similar came up in the Oracle readings we've done on her case, but he could just be denoting a very toxic poisonous situation that eight of water right right here poison poisonous situation toxic emotional mental physical but i do also know that she did have um traces of ghb in her system they don't know how that came about did she willingly take it or not um but this is interesting to me because it feels toxic. Like, yeah, she could have willingly consumed something. It could have had toxic effects, but that's not her cause of death. And it could be slowly over time this happening to her. Like, there could be evidence of that coming out. And this time it didn't work. That's what I'm getting a hit from Spirit. Okay. I'm going to move on to something about this case of distraction or diversion. Or it could be that she was distracted and diverted, like her attention diverted somewhere else when the attack occurred. Um, could be also some level of intoxication. Distraction or diversion. This can represent some misrepresentations coming out around the case or around who's involved. Distraction. Police have not named a suspect, but I have a sense that they have an idea of who's involved. And we got accessory after the fact. In the opening Oracle readings, there was, I think, I don't know if aiding and abetting card came out, but I think two or more came out, like two or more people are involved. I can't remember exactly the cards, but just the energy of them. This tells me that someone wittingly or unwittingly helped after the fact helping the perpetrator like carry on with living saying that they're here when they were really there you know helping clean up you know i'm just thinking of what are some activities that accessories after the fact typically typically engage in that's what i'm thinking about so um yeah the motive is interesting let me know what you all think of the twins car came up denoting some duality couple energy partnerships partners so yeah i'm gonna pause here so i can move these cards over here and move on to the next question and so now we're going to move on to question number two do the police have suspects or persons of interest in mind already 
Yes, they do. This is an affirmative card. Six of Wands of Yes. They have their sights on someone. Okay, not much to really explore. I mean, it's just with me with a yes or no. Daughter of Earth, Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone young. I have to think about that. I have Daughter of Earth, Page of Pentacles traditionally. So they do have one or two lines of inquiry about the main perp and the person or persons who have helped. Okay. So we have that answered. That's question number two. So now question number three. Did she know her assailant? the two of cups this is an affirmative card of yes intimate knowledge with the two of cups now I will say this with the two of cups it could be this is a very short lived connection very fleeting days even a couple of days but it can also represent something um, really testing this connection during the early you know like the early part of their relationship I don't know but this is of an intimate nature maybe this person wanting something with her or vice versa to answer the question yes and in terms of who when you get a two of cups it's, it's saying allegedly I mean not allegedly what it's saying but a, a, a partner and you can have overkill all, like usually as a sign of someone being an intimate partner. We've seen in recent cases where there's been some crazy unalivings where they there isn't a personal connection or, you know, it's not what you think. But this doesn't surprise me. This Two of Cups. This doesn't surprise me. Liar lies, lying in wait. Soon enough, we're going to be hearing someone's lies. Soon enough. Let's see what John crime scene. Clues, major clues at the actual crime scene. I wonder. Crime scene has evidence of the perp. Okay. So I think what these cards are also telling me is that the police have, do have their sights on someone. And they are, this card can have multiple meanings. We have liar lies, lying in wait. The police could be lying in wait, waiting for that person to trip up or waiting for the right time to strike. But this is also soon enough we're going to be hearing about somebody's lies. Maybe about why they were at the crime scene on the day of or near, why their whatever would be around her or their DNA, for example. Just an example, I don't know. Um, so, oof. yeah, that's going to be interesting. Okay. All right, so that's question number three. So now we're doing what is the connection between her and the perp? So we do know there is an intimate nature. What is that? Two of air? Another two. Number two. Two of air. Two of swords. Oh my goodness. I'm teaching in my reading lab this coming Saturday, July 27th, on going deep dive into the swords and two of swords, two of air. I've been very much deep diving into this. And so there, the past two months for this partnership, this connection that came up with this Two of Cups here earlier, um, 
if someone was at a stalemate, there was like an impasse on what to do about something, a decision that deferred, that didn't happen. And finally, a decision probably two months prior to her dying, Katia had made up her, was nearing the end of being indecisive about something and about to move on and had conveyed that information. And that may come out not maybe not until trial, but that may be a key piece of information about some something happening with this person that did this uh, two months prior to within two months prior to two of swords. There is a connection, I think. Let me know what you all intuitively come up with. If you also did a reading, I want to hear. What is the connection between her and the perp? We'll find clues in social media. Footprints. There's footprints. Oh, no. I'm going to try this one. I've got these in stacks. That's how I shuffle them. Two sacks. Drama fill. Okay. Trace evidence telling cards. Computer. Okay. So, social media has clues on who this, like, perhaps this person is in her social media profiles and likewise in and theirs are following on social media like this person follows her or closely or social media holds clues um foot social media footprints ah this could mean multiple things so it can denote like you know how we have our um, digital tracking through social media like facebook could be like oh you want to check in here that kind of in, that kind of data, right? So it could be something like that. How do you explain that? Also, it could be footprints that were constantly overlapping hers. Katia's like overlapping, like they could see patterns as they're analyzing this. Law enforcement's analyzing this. We may even be able to see clues in social media. Her last footprint, this person close to her's last footprints. There's someone very close, very recently involved. This was a drama-filled situation, hence the frenzied attack. Hmm. <clears throat> drama-filled. Computer holds clues. We'll find out more about that. There's evidence on someone. So. This, even though law enforcement is quiet, it's because they really need to be. They cannot jeopardize this investigation whatsoever. But I sense that they do have someone with their eyes set on it. They just have to move strategically and they're willing to take the time to do that. So, you know, for her family, it, it could be very difficult because each day it's like, whew, it's like a weight. It's scary too. Like who did this to her? And and they need to be brought to justice, but they need to be off the streets. Like it's all these feelings. And they took their her their you know they took her away from her loved ones, her baby. So but on the other hand, I'm comforted by what I'm seeing and picking up on here that I'm thinking law enforcement is seeing. Okay. There's the computer card. A criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Hmm. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Footprints. Drama filled. Well, I suppose you, you could have drama with a stranger, but rarely is the case, right? usually someone you know but I could be wrong well, you know so that's question number four what I'm going to do now is pause 
kind of spread these out and take a picture of them. And then we're going to move on to questions five and six to wrap up the reading. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we're at question number five. What are some potential red herrings that could plague this case? Hmm. Maybe her work as a military, as military, I suppose. Um, nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles traditionally. And we have five of Earth. You see the little bondage? I don't know why when I saw that I instantly thought military. I, you know, to me, like, like there's being some kind of tie to her work as the mil in, like in the military. That's what I pick up on it. You all let me know what you think. I'm always interested in hearing your takes. Um, even if I can't respond right away, I'm always like taking a look at what your your theories are, what came up intuitively for you. What are some potential red herrings that could affect the case? House. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Mm. This gets interesting. Mm -mm. I'll show you all in a moment why I say that. You gotta follow the paper trail. So, when I saw these, I thought work or earthly matters, right? So you've got the nine of earth, the five of earth, um, some level of restriction. Now, some people might be like, no, Kim, actually, I think it is related to her military career, her holding secrets or something like that. And maybe the red herring is, let me show you what the Oracle card is. We have the house. So maybe someone inside of her house knowing more or, or like maybe a witness. I think she was living with someone else, like a female, like a female roommate. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. I saw that on the Facebook page, the police, local police Facebook page. And someone had posted something that could be, you know, totally a nothing, like someone making it up. But I felt like I read it somewhere as well. But it could be that a lot of attention is devoted to her um, suspicions. Maybe we don't know about it because, you know, we're not local. But there could be like suspicion. So this could be a red herring, like a path that's not that's not the the right direction. Her dating life. Now this is where I was saying that some of you may be like, no, it has something to do with her career, military life, and maybe you know it's the dating, you know, that is the red herring. Like it's not her dating life, but I get a sense that this could be about other people she's dated or was possibly linked with. That's my take on it, like going down different paths. And that could be a part of reasonable doubt that is later shed, you know, by the defendant when that time comes. Uh, we have accomplice. We did earlier get the accessory after the fact. But maybe it's who is helping or why they're helping. Um, maybe there's something about that, about that assistance that is not as criminal as one might think. Or it could be that it was very criminal, but they could be getting away with something. I don't know. I will have to sit with this card a little longer. And then we have paperwork. Hmm. Maybe there's something coming out, papers, reports, infractions, things she's seen or witnessed in her work, in her life, reports. Maybe there's some sort of reports, police reports, medical reports. I don't know. But it, taking us down a, a trail, it's so important to follow the evidence. And I get a sense that with this case, that's what, you know, 
what law enforcement is going to the tried and true methods of cracking this case and bringing it to a successful conclusion. So that's, again, another reassuring card for me. But yeah, all right, I'll be back because we have one more question to ask. So now we're at question number six, and this is the last one for now, unless something pops up in my head. But will we get to know, like, who did this or will she receive justice? Yeah. Okay, we have death the world. Okay. Does it's gonna take several um and it has taken several months so far. It's been since May that this happened. Um, but maybe something developing in the death period I'll sit with that one for a moment but the world card does indicate a conclusion accomplishment of getting to the bottom of things you know so something you know being rounded up and completed and it answers the question yeah at some point the answers will come and there will be a level of justice levied to you know atone for her death but it's going to take some time i'm going to pull some timing cards in a moment i'm just going to pull some additional oracle spirit what's next circumstantial evidence so yeah, information Investigations underway. We're looking at bank records. Okay, hold on. I don't want that many cards. One or two more. And run. It's interesting. We know that's not the case. Someone's going to be in a mental gel. Now I'm going to pull some timing cards. Key timing elements, past, present, future, related to Katia's case. Okay. Nine to 12 weeks. I don't know. She died on a... She died on, was it a Saturday? I think it was. February is of significance. Nine to 12 weeks from now is two. Huh, next lifetime. Let's set this one to the side. I know it's a mess of cards, but I'll organize them in a moment. stop so we've got my decks here we got I want to move my timing ones for a moment let's move those out of the way and I want to talk a bit about the Oracle card so circumstantial evidence from my secrets reveal true crime Oracle deck Law enforcement taking in a lot of information, having to sift through a lot, um, a lot of circumstantial evidence. Maybe not. Um, we'll see um, what actual physical, like concrete evidence they have, but this being largely a circumstantial evidence case. We have bank records, them pouring, sifting over information gleaned in bank records. Bank records are great because it can show 
patterns of purchases and locations or where people are at or or their financial troubles or whether large payments paid in or out um, you know for something not nefarious so you can gain a lot of information from bank records and also the bank records of the victim too so there's that this is going to stunt me. We have the hit and run. The only thing I can take away from this, I'm just leaning to my intuition, is this is this was designed to make it look like it, like the initial intentions, like someone randomly did this to her, so they could get away with it. Like this person planned and fully expected to get away with it, but things didn't go as planned. No, not at all. Oh. And we have death. Hmm. In mental jail. Someone being in a mental jail, really struggling with this whole thing. It could be family members, loved ones close to her, but it could, I usually when this card comes up, it's someone who has knowledge and information and it's burning up their their mental state it's like with guilt oh my goodness this dog my apologies I forgot she was outside um but yeah mental jail someone being in a mental jail so some key time elements to be mindful of surrounding the case the first card we got is nine to twelve weeks that could be 9 to 12 weeks from, from now. I'm recording this reading on... What day is this? It's July 22nd, 2024. 9 to 12 weeks. It could be 9 to 12 weeks out. Like, how long she had been doing... Like, something going on going with her. 9 to 12 weeks preceding her death. It could be 9 to 12 weeks. You know, something of significance with this involved. 9 to 12 weeks. February is of importance. It could be significant as it relates to someone's birth month. It could be when something happened in the past. Um, in February, that's key and critical for the case. So, like... February of this year, 2024, something key. Or it could mean, you know, in the future when something, you know, maybe goes to trial or maybe some big development in the evidence or, you know, something happening with the case development. So when we get to these timing cards, it can mean that as well. It can mean, I give you past, present, and future examples, you know? So we have Saturday. I believe this happened on a Saturday, but I'm pretty sure of it. But this Saturday, like Saturday proceeding could be of significance. Like, like there was something on the radar that really probably heightened, like some, you know, like her, like a friend's concern for her. And maybe they remember that or she expressed something the Saturday before, you know, I don't know. But Saturday is of significance. We have next month month's time next month next month getting more information maybe family and friends getting more people closest to the case maybe not the public but people close uh, may find out a bit more next month next lifetime at first i was like oh come on spirit what do you mean but a, a couple of takeaways for the next lifetime card um it can mean that there will be karmic retribution and justice. Expect justice to happen, but it's going to be one of those cases where you have to kind of just swallow and, and trust the process. And, you know, there might be moments where it feels a bit outrageous, but knowing that there is karmic like ramifications and implications for like a lifetime okay so there's that hmm I suppose it could mean someone who 
it was an intimate marital partner allegedly i don't know you all let me know what you think the next lifetime card is saying we have the waxing crescent moon so that could be an important moon phase some kind of timing element that we could look at um it could just mean a phase at which you know maybe the waxing crescent moon prior to her passing some key something key happening during that time frame some additional timing cards we got was October is of significance, which ties into the death card. Death represents for me October 21st to November 20th. And the world, we'll talk about that in a moment, but we've got slow movement. Don't expect this to move relatively quickly, like the investigation could move quickly, but Getting it through trial could take forever. Um, or it could be, you know, the investigation takes a long time, but the trial moves at a reasonable pace. But nevertheless, you're sl this is going to have slow movement about it. Slow to get information, slow to, you know, to hear the latest updates. And then December is of significance. So the world card is associated with the timing of December 21st to January 20th. So I find that that's interesting that we have these cards that represent those time periods being of importance. So I take away from all of this that justice will prevail um, and that there will be significant spiritual ramifications for taking her life in this way. Something that mere man could never be able to get involved with. A punishment like no other, I suppose, if you want to say. Um, but it looks like law enforcement is handling this. It may on the outside look like nothing's going on or like they're not handling it. And perhaps loved ones know a lot more than we do. Maybe they don't, but they will soon start to piece together or get little bits from law enforcement to piece together what they can release and the picture will start to be more clear so that's what i'm picking up on i am so sorry for all those who loved and cared for and really just treasured katia and my heart goes out to all of you and um, prayers for swift justice that whoever is responsible or knows something, um, we find out who they are and that they are brought to justice. So that's it, folks. That's it for now. I'm going to take a picture, clean these cards up. Do me a favor on your way out. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I thank you all for doing so. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, take good care of yourselves, okay? I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.